Good day, mates. Welcome back again. So, I don't know uh, if any of you watched the video I uploaded last week. Well, it w was supposed to have been two. It was going to be um, the one that I uploaded about all the stuff that I've done for the, in the last three years. And it was going to be an update on the Bandai 148 Stug 3. Well, what happened was, we had a bit of a disaster on the recording of the video for the Stug. And where I had the camera, me phone, above me, and some of, or, well, on a lot of the filming that I did, and I did do quite a bit of filming, a couple of hours I was at it. Um, <laughs> instead of it coming out east to west, landscape mode, it come out north to south for some reason I've no, absolutely no idea why so where you would see me doing the proper from this angle it was turned that way so I was doing stuff oh, just anyway <laughs> needless to say I binned all that so that was why there was only one last week anyway Moving swiftly on, I did do quite a bit last Saturday, so let's uh, crack on and I'll show you what we got on with and perhaps we can do a bit more. So this is what I was doing last week all the uh, little bits and pieces for the Stug the spare tracks the S hooks the jack block, the jack the uh, wire cutters, the hammer the shovel etc etc was doing all that last week Also, the spare tyres, the MG, the shirts and side armour, got all that ready to attach. So, <laughs> Also, I put the tracks on, the rubber band tracks, they look okay I reckon, and I put the barrel on, so that's on, so that's pretty much the lower hole, ready to rock and the spare track holder that went on, so I did all that last week, filmed it all, and uh, as I just told you, it all had to go in the bin. So, my plan, which is what I've done, is I sprayed the lower hole with this 7028 Dunkel Gelb. from ammo and it's billed as a 1944 colour it's very light compared to the dark yellow that I used on um, on the other tanks but it's alright I reckon some of it changes as good as the rest as they say you can see it's very it's a very light colour So what I plan to do, the upper hole is ready to rock, as you can see, so we're going to spray that, 
and then that gets fitted onto there etc 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 and then we have a nice little 148 stug so let's see what we can do with the airbrush so here we go I'm going to black base this first because the colour is so light it's going to be a bit difficult to get light and shade on it I reckon so let's have a go So it's been about 20 minutes, 25 minutes now, paint's dry, don't forget it's acrylic, it's not oil, so look at how beautiful and flat that's dried, okay, and it's this, Ooh, I've seen some people go into real rants about how shit this stuff is, but I've never had any problem with it, so I'll carry on using it. There's the side skirts. Beautiful. Flat as a pancake. Gun barrel. Same. Jobs are good. So now we can get some white on top for highlights. And I'm going to be using this off white AK third gen. And let's crack on with it. Put that down there. Trusty old tool. The Iwata clips best investment I ever made so let's get some paint in the cup don't need a lot because it's a tiny model isn't it I'm gonna thin it with water a few drops give it a stir 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 nicely done Yeah, it's all right. All right, let's do a little bit on the uh, side skirts first. All I'm going to do is just oh, that's not very nice. So that's really all I want to do. Let's just put a bit of highlight in the centre of the panel. I 
Nothing to it. So, we're back in the room. As you can see, it's already been uh, black based and uh, pre shaded. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, I've done the black basing and uh, got all the paint in the paint cup ready to uh, pre shade it, and the battery ran out on the camera, unfortunately. So, sorry about that. I thought that I'd charged it up after the last time I used it but obviously I didn't so I ran out and it would have just took too long and I already had paint in the cup ready to go so anyway that's what we're using Dunkel Gelb 3 I believe they call that 1944 it's very light but it's okay I can live with it So, the airbrush is ready to rock, stick some in the paint cup, it's been stirred good and proper. A little bit of uh, thinner action going on. that stir and stir everything off looking good right so Let's get some light coats on. Goes on beautiful this paint. Start off with some nice light coats. Build it up. Already you can see the pre-shading is looking pretty good. Let's do one of the uh, side skirts. Also clean, gave the brush a good, good thorough cleaning before I restarted. Took it all apart, gave it a real good clean. As you can see on the pre shading, I've done a bit of mottling, a bit of you know, solid white, just trying to vary it so it looks a little bit different on each panel. Because each panel is going to wear and tear and fade differently. Let's go over this again. Also forgot to mention that I lost one of the smoke launchers on the side there, if you can see that. Don't know where it went. And I've actually bought two different sizes of 
evergreen plastic tube and they've both been the wrong size one was too small and one was too big so I'm not going to buy any more I'm just going to leave it so I'm just going to go a little bit more over this make sure I get that edge don't want to cover up too much of the pre-shading well, I think that will do me now for the uh, upper hull some more on these sides guys get the back but it probably won't be seen very much tiny bit more paint dip dab dab of thinner stir 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 It's good to me. So you can see, oh, you can see that the tiny little attachment part, which is there, that little bit there has just come off. What I was going to say is. You can see the mottling on there, oh, just gives it a bit of interest so it's all not flat and all not the same colour. You can tone it down a bit if you think it looks too much by just adding a bit more paint. Always just add more paint and certain bits to highlight them a bit. I'll do a little bit underneath. <coughs> oh dear. Right, I'm going to call that it. I'm happy with that. And what I'll do now, move that to one side, get the upper hole down, uh, the lower hole, and get this to protect the work I've already done. And I'll give that a blast. that to one side so these are all the accessories they're going to go on to the upper hole
jack block and all the tools so let's get this ready and I'll start attaching the uh, tools on that so that's it construction complete I'm really pleased with how this came out been a bit of a struggle for me getting it complete but I really like it obviously there's weathering to do I'm gonna put a wash over it to tone that color down a bit all the usual stuff but it's an absolutely beautiful kit and that's why I bought another one to uh, do the interior and have the hatches open so you can see the engine transmission the driver's area just a beautiful little kit everything with it all the extra uh, spare tracks the tools the jack the jack block spare wheels on the back the shirts on on the side beautiful I've loved every minute of it so if you fancy 148 scale I would say go for these old 70s Bandai kits because they are beautiful you won't regret it so next up will be washes and some weathering matte coat, uh, gloss coat, decals, matte coat finished I'd like to have finished it today, but just haven't got the time. It's getting near doggy feeding time, and I can hear him shuffling about downstairs, waking up because their internal clock is telling them it's coming up to six o'clock, and six o'clock is dinner time in doggy land. So that's it, boys and girls. Beautiful little kit. Totally enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, and that's why I bought another one and that's why I bought two other Bandai kits from the 70s because they are fantastic and I fully intend to buy some more so I'll leave you with that take care my friends I'll see you soon